My name is Rino Pizzi, and um, I'm showing, well, I shouldn't say I am, because in fact, it's a concept that I came out with, but my current exhibition involves the work of 16 other artists. So we are 17, in fact. And the exhibition is called The Mona Lisa Project. Well, initially I was really um, intrigued, and I have been for a long time, by Mona Lisa in many different ways. You know, I'm more intrigued by it, the resilience of this um, piece of artwork, and it's basically probably the single most famous example of high art. And my curiosity was, you know, will we ever be able to have a fresh look at this painting? You know, can we actually think about it as a painting in its own terms rather than the illustration of a discourse which is completely saturated and also not only high culture, academic culture, but also popular culture and commercial culture. So I was thinking, you know, maybe it would be like an interesting thing to play this game. There was a moment when I was developing this idea when I thought I was doing basically the same thing, you know, that I was being a male artist and you know, asking a variety of sitters of different kind of ages, cultural background, you know, ethnic background, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to impersonate Mona Lisa. It sounded like an interesting project to some degree, but nothing that would have brought anything uh, new or different. And that's when I thought that the appropriation could be a bit more radical. So I asked artists, female artists, rather than potential female sitters, and I asked them how they would feel about sitting and posing as Mona Lisa, but in a context that they would choose of their own and then take the print that I will give them and uh, do whatever they want on it. They all did it, and I think they did it in an extraordinary way, you know, way past my imagination. I mean, I've learned a lot in the process myself from each one of them. Every one of them was, you know, a contribution and approach to this idea that turned it into a real cultural experiment. Um, but the work that it was extraordinary.